So, I've been intensively using Atlas OS for more than five months now, and it is not what you think it is. In this video, I will tell you the truth about custom operating systems and what you should do. It's been a while. Hope you're doing great. Let's jump right into the video. Recently, the Atlas team released a new version of their Windows modification, popularly known as Custom OS, which according to them brings more customizability, stability, and compatibility to Atlas, with many critical bug fixes and more Windows feature support. Yes, literally, everything you get from stock Windows, which the idea of custom operating systems was originally to remove bloatware and prioritize performance as much as possible, now it is flipped the other way around and I kid you not when I say, the Atlas team has failed terribly. Not even focused on the newer update, their previous version was at least feasible for the time being if you just wanted an instant fast Windows experience. But their latest release so far has just proved much of a point countless times that stock Windows with the right optimizations will thrash any modified version of Windows on the face of the earth, and I really mean it. Speaking of meaning it, I know you would be wondering, what are my reasons to make such a bold statement, or maybe whether I have evidence backing up this bold statement and the answer is yes. I always do. Now I won't get in depth about the technical stuff because I know you can't care any less. Alright, you know that no matter how good a company or team makes a software, there are inevitably going to be bugs, always gonna be. And even a company as big as Microsoft still has some bugs in the UI, flow of operation, here and there and so far they have done an awesome job to make Windows better every update, speaking of updates. Atlas and custom operating systems in a whole will of course have more bugs because now you're not only using a software, but a modified version of it. It's like playing GTA 5 knowing there might be some bugs in the game and going ahead to use a mod that has its own bugs which is literally shooting yourself on the leg, which Atlas just did. No offense. But the team is trying their best to fix the bugs within their power to resolve, and when the modification escalates a bug of Windows itself, you get the mumbo jumbo try restarting. CF scan load of crap support service which technically they don't owe the users because it's free. And it will incur legal charges if the team decided to sell their modifications of Windows for users. The issues I have shown you are just the tip of the iceberg. I have people flooding my DM seeking help with issues on Atlas OS, even users who never had any driver issue or performance issues on stock windows found Atlas to be massively terrible and that's really disappointing. More so, most of you know that once you install Windows, for some reason it degrades over time and that's completely fine. Microsoft themselves can't seem to figure out a solution but it's the outcome of installing games, softwares, downloading files, and of course accessing the internet and many more technical details I don't want to get into due to time. But you get my point, after about 3 months of installation of Windows, it gets slower, choppier, games tend to lag more often, performance dips here and there, and it gets worse. But you can always refresh and restore Windows without losing your installed games, files, and data. This is a different method most of you don't know, click the top right card to watch that video. And this easily solves the slow Windows issue. On the other hand, you can't easily do this on custom operating systems and this is the edge stock Windows have against modified Windows. No matter the team that pioneered it, I mean Ghost Spectre, Atlas, Rivi OS, whatever is out there can never match Windows and they don't want to tell you this. And I find this very dark in the tech industry. They lie to you to get you to watch their videos, gain more followers and all that stuff. And the reason why many users or tech enthusiasts fall for this crap is something called the shiny object syndrome which means a tendency to focus on new and trendy ideas or trends without considering their potential. As mild as it may sound, it is really bad, from installing a load of custom operating systems to installing a load of unnecessary optimizations. And also if you didn't know, modified windows break. Even if you haven't experienced it yet, you got it coming. Well, my experience was using Atlas Prime version which was their previous version. It was okay, but it's not worth it. I tested Atlas like a computer noob. No extra manual optimizations, just straight into the trash and for the first couple of weeks it did fine, mediocre performance. 
and I am saying this because manually optimized stock windows which I was previously using was way better than any modified windows out there. This is just to say 5 months of my time testing this operating system on different computers, it is bad, very bad. My performance got worse, started having random windows crashes, weird prompts and stuff which I don't even want to get into in this video and this is majorly why I haven't made a new video yet is just to make sure you guys get the best information out there. Ever since I returned back to stock windows a few weeks ago and did some optimizations for about an hour or so, my computer has seen a new light. By the way, I won't be making a new optimization video ever again. I recommend you to check out Corvitech's optimization video, and you will be surprised at how much stock windows is way better than modified windows. You get more performance, security, protection, and of course many more. Once again, another tool I would recommend is Chris Titus Tech's Windows Utility, and that is all you need. Every other thing out there is bullshit. Modified windows are a load of crap and I would never recommend it to anyone for any reason. Because at this point, you are losing everything for nothing. Performance, snappiness, security compromises for nothing. Stock Windows does better. I know I don't make controversial statements like this, but I had to get this out of my chest. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks for the massive support. I really appreciate every single one of you. As usual, drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. See you next time. Peace out.